Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Autobahn, a game for one to four players where we play as managing directors in the German Bundes Autobahn organization responsible for developing this highway from the little sections we've got right now, spanning Germany over the few eras that we play over. Contributing to construction will get you employees at various departments of the organization who may get promoted to more prestigious tables and earn you points at the end of the game. As well as building roads, we want to facilitate the transportation of goods. We have a few trucks. We have places that can give goods, places that want to get goods and to construct service stations, both of which can give us the opportunity for bonuses and to increase our budgets. Before we get into how we do all of that though, let's have a look at how we got to this point. To set up, put the main board in the middle of the table and then grab the administration and construction office board over to the side. Put the road sections, goods tokens, delivery tokens, the numbered city tokens, and the Deutschmark tokens in a common supply nearby. Find the bonus tokens, which have this stamp on the back. Give them a shuffle face down and we place them in spaces on the roads with their icon. There should be 11 of those spaces. Put the tokens face up. And then depending on your player count, also in these delivery bonus spaces, I'm going to be setting up for a two player game here. So I don't want anything in the three or more player or the four player sections. Once you've finished, you can put the remaining bonus tiles back in the box. Next, take six road section tokens and you want to make sure they're on their single carriageway side, not their green double side. And we're going to place them on the six individual sections that are going to start off our autobahn. These little slots here show you how many tokens each road section can take. So we've got one going from Hamburg to Hanover, two here from Hanover to Bad Hersfeld, and all the way down to Krelsheim, finishing our starting autobahn anyway. We're of course going to expand this. Next, we want 36 more sections of road and they are going to fill up these spaces on the dashboard. So you see we want 10 there, 12 there, 14 there. Next, take five city tokens with the value two on them. The double sided, so the twos have also got four on the other side. But we want value two showing up on the cities that are connected to our starting road. There we go. The roadblock tokens are next and they are going to basically block this eastern section off. They're going to block off to the east of Hamburg. Hanover, Bad Hersfeld, and north and east of Nuremberg. Now it's time for cards. Find the seven root cards, shuffle them up, and we want to reveal a number equal to the number of players plus one. Two player game, I've revealed three. Then we need the improved cards and the advanced cards. Now the basic ones have got all sorts of different symbols in the corner here. The improved ones have this Autobahn symbol, and the advanced ones have the Autobahn symbol and a star on top of it. Let's look at the improved ones first. Shuffle up all 20 cards and make a display of five cards next to them. You can do this below the board, by the way. I am just doing it here for space reasons. The 14 advanced cards can be shuffled up and put off to the side for now. We are not going to need them just yet. Set up each player with a player board in their color. So this is for red. Four action tiles corresponding to these four actions at the top of your player board. A set of basic action cards. There should be seven all with different different colors, nine unlock tokens, and all of the wooden bits in your color. That's going to be 25 employees, eight service stations, two trucks, and a development token, all in your color. So the four action tiles need to cover these actions on your board on the side with two cones facing up. Shuffle up the six delivery boards and deal one to each player. Your delivery board can go adjacent to your player board and the rest can go back in the box. From your starting cards, take your yellow action card and set it aside. The yellow roads are all blocked off at the moment, so we're not going to be needing that card to begin with. The remaining six form your starting hand. Your 25 employees form a neat-ish supply by your board. Your service stations fill these slots at the bottom of your board, standing up if you'd prefer. Unlock tokens on these key spaces, including these three at the bottom, and your trucks go on their designated spots as well. Your development token goes on the first spot of the development track. Make a stack of all the players' tokens. The order that they're in doesn't matter. Now, based on the number of players, we need to split 48 Deutschmarks between us. In a two-player game, that's going to be 24 each. Randomly choose a start player, so that is going to be Marty. Take an employee from their supply and put them in the leftmost space of the desk in the black office. Then going clockwise, every other player places one of their employees at that desk from left to right. 
And finally, starting with the player to the right of the starting player, and going anti-clockwise, so reverse order, each player chooses one of the available routes. I like the sound of Nuremberg to Paris. Marty's going to go for Oberhausen to Milano, and the unused route cards can go back in the box. And just like that, we are set up and ready to build. The aim of the game is to compete and collaborate to build the Autobahn network in post-war West Germany, and make use of that network to make deliveries of West German goods to neighbouring countries. In 1990, German reunification will occur, and the road network can expand into East Germany. That's why these roadblocks are there at the start of the game, and that will open up a lot of new opportunities. The player with the most points at the end of the game after these three eras is the winner. Before we get into the steps of how to play, I think there are a few concepts we need to just look at first. It'll be really useful to know once we get to the actions. So first of all, we've got the dashboard up here where we put a lot of road tokens. It shows the three eras of the game. So we start in 1946, going all the way up to 2020. At the end of the second era, 1990, that's when German reunification is going to occur. The dashboard keeps track of how many road tokens are left. That's going to trigger the end of each of the eras. It also tracks the costs of various actions, the speed at which trucks can move. And at the end of each of these eras, players will receive funding based on their contributions to the Autobahn network. Now, the board as a whole shows us the Autobahn network, but each different colour of road is an Autobahn in this network. The Autobahns connect a number of German cities together, and they might also have links to a neighbouring country, like this one links to Paris. Each length of road that goes between two spaces is called a link, and links can either be one or two road sections long. The two section roads can have service stations built on them. If you were to build a service station, then every time you or a player moves past that service station, you can get bonus actions or bonus income. Links start off with these single carriageway roads, as we've seen in setup. They can later be upgraded, though, into dual carriageways. See on their other side there? They can help trucks move faster and they increase the values of the cities. Now the city values, you see all of these numbers that we put down in setup, the value of a city is increased by having a completed link to it from a new autobahn. So we have this little strip at the start of the game and all of these cities that it connects to have the value of two. So a completed link from an autobahn going into a city boosts its value by two. It doesn't matter that, say, Bad Hersfeld here has a completed link above it and below it. They're both from the same autobahn, so the value still only goes up by two. If in the game someone was to complete this link between Frankfurt and Bad Hersfeld, this is now from the purple autobahn, a different one. So Bad Hersfeld's value would go up to four, but also Frankfurt now has a completed link going to it and would go up to two. We talked about the possibility of dual carriageways. Upgrading a whole link to a dual carriageway contributes two more. So in this case, Frankfurt would now jump to a four and we'd need a whole new token to make Bad Hersfeld a six. And you can see how autobahns with lots of connections, if you can link them all up and get them all upgraded, they can be incredibly valuable cities as the game goes on. The values of the commercial cities in neighboring countries are fixed at the start of the game and do not change no matter what happens to the autobahn. Now, whenever you build roads on a particular autobahn, you're going to get to put an employee in the leftmost seat of the corresponding construction office. They're the one that's the same color as the road that you built. Employees and offices can be promoted later on to go to departments, and depending on the department that they're sent to, they can earn you a lot of points. We start the game with these delivery boards, showing us which countries would like which goods delivered to them. Now, the standard types of goods, appliances, chemicals, and automotive goods are all produced in cities along the Black Autobahn. They need to be picked up with your trucks over in those cities and transported to the corresponding neighboring country along the Autobahns, and you'll gain the reward shown on your delivery card. There is a fourth type of good, pharmaceuticals. These are only produced in Berlin and are only available in the third era once reunification has occurred. And finally, our root cards. In setup, we picked a root card each. At the end of every era, you check your root card. If a complete road connection exists between the two cities you've got listed, by any route, it can go the long way if it needs to. As long as those two cities are connected up, you will earn coins and promotions depending on the status of the connection. The more it's upgraded, the better, basically. The status is a value. You work out the number of sections that this route takes up and subtract from that number the amount of upgraded links and service stations along the way. 
Okay then, let's look at how to play. So the start player goes first. We worked out that was Marty in setup. And we go clockwise. Every turn has got four phases in it. Claim a delivery bonus. Take an action. Move your truck. And end of turn. There are three eras. We keep going until a certain number of road sections have been built. So when you build a road section, you take it from the top era, the era that we're currently in. Once 10 road sections have been built, it's going to trigger the end of the first era. Once 12 more have been built, it's going to trigger the end of the second era. And once 14 more have been built, it's going to trigger the end of the third era, which is the end of the game. Every era is followed by a funding phase. Remember, the player with the most points at the end wins. So the first thing you can do on your turn is claim a delivery bonus. If you have any unclaimed delivery bonuses, which you'll get for completing a delivery on a previous turn, you can choose one of them, slide it to the right so it covers up the bonus, and take the corresponding bonus action. Some are actions, some are just plain money, like this would get you 10 Deutschmarks. Phase two is take an action, and this is where our hand of cards comes in. You can play a card from your hand, you can refresh your hand, or you can claim funding. As well as one of these options, at any time during your phase, but at most once per turn, you can use a bonus token that you have previously claimed that's in your player area, and then you discard the tile. You can't use bonus tiles in any other phase, just in this take action phase. So let's have a look at playing a card and the actions that you can take in the game. Choose one card from your hand and place it above one of the available actions. The action determines which type it is. The color determines which autobahn you are going to be performing that action on. The color also determines whether you're going to be able to move your truck if it's already got some goods on it in phase three. As shown on our boards, each action space has got a maximum number of cards that you're allowed to play in that space. At the start of the game, the limit is one for everything apart from build roads, where the maximum is three. You must be able to pay the full cost of a build road or upgrade link action, otherwise you're not allowed to take it. So let's have a look at these actions. Marty has played a red card to his build a road action. So let's have a look at that. Building a road section lets you build one new road section following a few steps. Take exactly one road section from the current eras section in the dashboard and place it on an empty road section part of the autobahn, the same color as the card that you played. Once you played a red card, so it's going to have to go on the red autobahn. You place it with the single carriageway side up and what you place must extend the network. It's got to be connected to it in some way. You can't just go off in the middle of nowhere. You've got to build from the current autobahn network. Remember in the first and second eras, the roadblocks prevent you from building in East Germany. There are bonuses to be had, of course. If you build a road section on any of these green arrows, they let you progress on the development track. There are other bonuses that can do this as well. You move your token according to the number of arrows on the bonus sheet that you just claimed and gain any bonus that you land on. These can be upgrading your action tiles so you can play more cards above them, replacing cards in your hand with better ones, promoting your employees, unlocking spaces on your player board and gaining money. If you build a road section over a space that has a bonus tile on it, then you get to take the tile and keep it face up in your player area. So he's chosen, he's building on the red autobahn, he's building this space, he needs to pay a cost. Now he's building a road in a two section link. So that is gonna cost him four Deutschmarks. So he needs to pay those to the bank. If later on, he happened to just be building a single link section, that would cost six. So he's placed his road section, expanding the network. He has paid the Deutschmarks for it. He now gets to place an employee in the corresponding office. So it was on the red autobahn. He places his employee in the leftmost empty seat of the red office. And you'll see that some seats on these tables can only be occupied in a game with more players. So three or more or four players. Now, if you come to place employees in an office and they're already full, the employee in the leftmost seat gets sent up to the administration lobby. All the other employees slide one space along and your employee gets placed in the newly vacated seat. Now your employee pieces are limited. You have 25 of them. If you have none left in your supply after you finish a road section, you must return exactly three employees from the lobby, place one of them in the corresponding office that you just built on, and then you get to promote an employee. We'll talk about promoting a little bit later. 
So we've placed a road section, we've paid for it, we've placed an employee in the corresponding office, now it's time to update the city values. And we talked earlier about this, when a link is completed from a new Autobahn, the value will go up by two. This is a two road section link, so it's not being completed yet with one build action, so the value would not change. In the future though, if another player was to build the other section, then this would go from a two to a four, because it's now a completed link from a new Autobahn and this city would go up to a two because it's got its first completed link. So we've seen building a road, what about upgrading a link? So I've played a black card to my upgrade link section. So for this you need to choose a completed link made up of one or two individual built road sections that's part of the autobahn matching the color of the card you just played. She played a black card, so it's gonna have to be in the black autobahn. Flip all the tiles in that section over so that the dual carriageway side is showing You've got to upgrade the whole link at once. So if that link has two road sections in it, you have got to do both. Then we must come to the dashboard again to see the cost of doing business. So this price is how much it costs to upgrade a single road section. I upgraded a link with two road sections in it. So it's going to cost me six times two, 12 Deutschmarks. Half my starting cash, I hope it was worth it. The costs will change as the eras progress. Just like when you construct a road, you place an employee in the corresponding office, following the same rules as before if the office is already full or if you have no employees left. Remember, you only ever put a single employee down, even if you just upgraded a link that was two sections long. So we've upgraded, we've paid for it, we've placed an employee, now we need to check the city values. We know that completed links contribute two towards the value of a city for each color of autobahn that that completed link comes from. But upgraded links contribute a further two. So even though there is still just one color of autobahn connecting to these cities, this link is upgraded and will increase the values of the city either side because it's the first upgraded link. Now it works in the same way. If this link was to be upgraded later, this city would improve its value by two, but this city it's already seen it. It's bored of the upgrades coming from the black autobahn. It wants to see something new. It wouldn't change. So this would become four. That would stay as four. You can use the load truck action. For this, you place your available truck, the one in the green section, on any depot in the autobahn that matches the color of card you just played. So the depots all have black because they're on the black autobahn, but you can see on them, depending on the other autobahns that connect to them, Hamburg is black and red, Hanover is black and green, and so on. Morty wants a car, so he wanted to go to Hanover, so he can place his truck in Hanover and take a corresponding goods token. Now this can all be you know, stood up in real life, but so you can see it, I'm doing it all 2D. Each truck can only have one goods token on it. The goods tokens aren't supposed to be limited. If you've run out somehow, you can use some replacements. If you haven't got an available truck to place on this depot, you can reassign one of your existing trucks. If it's somewhere else and it's already carrying something, you can abandon that good and put it on your chosen depot where it can receive this new good. You start the game with just the one truck available, but there is a second to unlock. And if you do unlock that, you can have two on the board at the same time. You can build a service station. Take the leftmost service station from your player board and you put it on an empty service station spot on the autobahn corresponding to the color that you played. So it's gonna to have to be the red autobahn for me. Now the link doesn't have to be completed, but at least one of the two road sections needs to have been built. So thanks to Marty's previous construction, I could pop one there. There is no cost for doing this, but it may well be very profitable later on. You can unlock a technology Take the unlock token from the space corresponding to the color of the card that you played there and put it on the lowest empty lock of one of your three technology columns. Now unlocking a technology can have two effects. The first one is either an immediate bonus or an ongoing permanent ability. And the other is the opportunity to promote an employee to a particular department. Let's say we choose this bottom left bonus here. You can see the icon corresponds to an action, the upgrade link action. This means that whenever you take this action in future, you also progress one space on the development track and gain any bonuses from spaces you might land on on that move. There's also one for every time you load a truck and every time you build a service station. Not only do you get the bonus from the space, but we see that that's in the bottom left space here. Unlocking that on your player board also unlocks that section to promote your employees to. Promotions let you move an employee from the lobby to 
to the first floor of one of the departments, or if they're already on a floor of the departments, they can move to a higher floor in that department. The criteria is though, you can see the padlocks underneath, you have to have unlocked that bonus on your player board. So Marty unlocking that bottom left bonus, when he got a promotion bonus in the future, would now be able to put people in this office. And you can see each one will give you a variable amount of points based on different things. Every employee in the lobby at the end of the game, two points each, no matter what. So with future unlock actions, Marty could unlock any of the bottom ones again, or he could move up in the column that he's moved up on. If he unlocks the second space in his leftmost column, he would then be eligible to promote this employee further into that column. The top one here's got two icons. That's because there are two spaces to unlock in the top row of anything. So looking at all of these bonuses, the bottom one we know when you do the corresponding action, you move one space on the development track. This one is every time you upgrade a link, each section is discounted by two. This one unlocks your second truck to be able to move about. This one says that every time you build a service station, you can immediately claim the bonus that's underneath it. If the bonus is coins, you earn the higher amount. These icons let you gain a card. Whenever you gain a card, you choose one from the display, add it to your hand and replenish the display from the deck. In eras one and two, these contain improved cards, which contain bonuses on them, like if you did this action with this card, also move a space on the development track. No matter which action you did with this card, you may also build a service station with the usual restrictions. If you loaded a truck this turn, then you can move your truck an extra space at the end of the turn. Loads of different bonuses from playing those cards. In the first and second eras, they contain improved cards. In the third era, they're going to contain even more powerful advanced cards. If you'd like to refresh yourself on any of the bonuses or see what all of the cards can do, there is a bonus actions section right near the end of the rulebook. And these bonuses let you gain bonus actions, basically build a service station anywhere, perform a load truck action anywhere, and then move the truck two spaces on any autobahn. It can still move later in phase three, which we'll get to, I promise. Phase two is a biggie. <laughs> but also perform an upgrade link action anywhere. Still got to pay the usual cost. That is all of the available actions though. So we've done possibility A, you took your action turn to play a card from your hand and take an action with it. You have different options though. Option B is refresh your hand. Instead of playing a new card, you can pick up all of the face-up cards you've already played and put them back in your hand. If you do this, you get a Deutschmark for every card that you picked up. So the later you leave it, the more money you'll get. But in the meantime, you'll be more limited by the cards you have available, unless of course you've been stocking up on new cards and by the restriction of the number of cards that can be placed in each column, which at the beginning of the game, especially very restrictive one in every column, but build a new road. So you can play a card, you can refresh your hand or you can gain funding. If you haven't already done it this era, you can put one of your employees on this space on the dashboard to gain Deutschmarks equal to the amount shown 12, 16 or 24, depending on which era we're in. Each player can do this. You don't block each other off from doing it, but each player can only do it once per era. So phase one was potentially claiming a delivery bonus. Phase two was taking our main action. Phase three is moving your truck. If you played a card this turn and your truck is on a depot or road section that matches the color of the card that you played, you can move your truck. If you have unlocked your second truck and it's out on the board, you can move both. The dashboard tells us how far the trucks move. It's two in the first era and three in the second and third eras. So Marty, when he loaded his truck, he played the green card. It's on the green or black autobahn, depending on how you look at the world. Each step corresponds to a road section. So he'd be able to move his truck one, two road sections. On his delivery board, he wants to deliver cars to Amsterdam. He's gonna need a bit more road before he's allowed to do that. But you can see in future by playing a red card to build another road section here, he'd also be eligible to move his truck at the end of the turn because he's on the red autobahn right now. The color of card that you need to play only has to correspond to where your truck is at the start of the movement. You're not limited to only being on there. So even though he'd played a green card, he's allowed to end up on the red autobahn. There is an extra bonus though. If your truck was to start its movement on a dual carriageway piece, it would get an extra movement step. 
as well as any other bonuses that it got. You do not get more bonuses by moving on to dual carriageway sections. It's just if you started your movement on one. And this is where service stations come into play. Let's say the board looked like this. Marty gets his two movement and he moves past one of his own service stations. Isn't that lucky? And isn't that going to be good for him? Because he's going to get a bonus for doing that. If it goes past one of your own service stations, you can go and look at your player board and choose from any of the bonuses that you have uncovered by building service stations. So you could choose an amount of money, two, four, six, or eight. You could get a promotion. You could move on the development track. You could move your truck an extra step, either of them, if they're both out. Or you could pay 10 Deutschmarks to put an employee out in the construction office corresponding to the color of the Autobahn where the service station you moved past was. Now, if you moved past multiple service stations, you get bonuses for all of them. They have to be a different bonus though. This could happen if you've got a lot of movement points or you've got both trucks out there at once and they're both moving around. What if though the city looked like this and Marty hasn't got the choice of going past his own service station. He's going to have to drive past one of mine. Well, if that was to happen, I would look at my player board. I would look at the highest amount of money that I've unlocked by building service stations. Not done a lot of it right now. And I would get the smaller amount. So if I just had one service station out, I would get one Deutschmark. This money comes from the supply, not the other player. But if I've got loads of them out, I could get up to four every time that happened. Very profitable if you can corner the market on service stations. So let's look at making the delivery. When your truck moves one step beyond the commercial city, so not enough to just stop there, you've got to move past into the city. You've successfully delivered your goods to that city. No matter what the good is, you can take a bonus tile from the delivery bonuses if there's any left. So in a two player game, you're going to have to rush for these things. You can use this in phase two of a later turn. Remember, now we're now in phase three when trucks are moving about, so you can't use them in phase three. The goods token goes back to the supply and you take a delivery token. Now, where you put this depends on what you delivered to that country. If you delivered the goods that they wanted, hey, in this example, Marty delivered automotive things to Amsterdam. If you deliver what they wanted, you pop the token on here and later on in phase one of a turn, you can claim the bonus. This one here is replace a card. It's like adding a card. You choose one from the display, but you need to get rid of something either that's already been played or from your hand for it to replace. If you didn't deliver the good that the country wanted, you can still have a little bonus. You can have the money that is shown here instead. So each country on your delivery board has two possible delivery rewards. You can only claim each bonus once per game. So there's no point delivering to that country if once you've claimed the relevant bonus. Now, there's also a pharmaceutical space here. If you're the first player to deliver pharmaceuticals to a country, which you can do in the third era, you put the delivery token over the pharmaceuticals bonus icon and immediately earn that action. So it's promotions or further development steps or double promotions. You can only do this if the space is free, though. If somebody's delivery token is already there, you would get nothing for the delivery and probably want to divert your truck somewhere else. If there's still time, of course. Phase four is the end of your turn. If at the end of your turn, your hand is completely empty, you've played all of the cards from it above your player board, you pick them all up and get them back into your hand for free. So great, you haven't had to waste a turn doing it, but you get no Deutschmarks for it. Then we would go to the next player, unless the roads in the current era have been depleted. If the last road section had been built on your turn, you would trigger the end of an era. Let's say the end of the era has been triggered and we are looking like this. So when the current player finishes their turn, we pause for an administration phase. This is different at the end of the third era. When the current player completes their turn, everyone gets one final turn, including the player that triggered the end of the era. Then we have the administration phase and the game ends. This is the first era's administration phase, though. If you do need to build extra road sections after this has been triggered through bonuses and whatnot, take them from the next era's section. Or if we're already in the third era, there are some spare road pieces. The building costs of the current era continue to apply though. So even though you might be taking the road sections from the next era, still pay using this era's costs. So the administration phase, here we're going to evaluate the construction budget, there's going to be some promotions, and then we're going to check our route cards. So the construction budget first. For each office that's got at least one occupied seat, add up the city values of all the cities along the corresponding autobahn that are connected to the network including the city values of the neighboring countries if they've been connected up. Divide the total of these values by the number of employees in the office, rounded down, and each player gets that amount in Deutschmarks for every employee they have in the office. So let's have a look at this for the black road, let's say. 
We have employees in the office, so we do evaluate it. No road section has been built up at the top, so we don't evaluate this city. This is connected though, so we are adding up four, plus two is six, plus six is 12, plus four is 16, plus two is 18, plus four is 22. So we have a value of 22 for this Autobahn. There are three employees in there, so we need to divide that by three. Rounded down, that's going to be seven per employee. So for Marty's one employee, he would get seven Deutschmarks. For my two, I would get 14. Let's take the green Autobahn. Marty is the only employee there, but there is an employee present. So we would still evaluate it. And we can see that the city values are four, eight. This does break up, but Hanover is still part of the network. So it's going to count. So it would be four, eight, 10. Divided by one employee, Marty would get all 10 Deutschmarks for that. Same as if you have two employees and they're both yours. So you do this for every relevant Autobahn and collect all of your money. The player who built the road that triggered this administration phase gets a promotion. And then finally, in clockwise order, starting with the player that triggered it, everyone checks their root card. So Marty triggered this. Let's have a look at his root card. He wanted to connect Oberhausen to Milano. And we can see here's Oberhausen. Is it connected to Milano? Well, it is. You have to go a little bit of a long way, but there is a connection there. We need to work out the value of this connection. So we need to count the number of road sections in the route that's been used. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's why if multiple routes exist, you might wanna just check those in case they have a slightly lower value. In this case, this is the shortest currently constructed route. So it's eight minus one for every upgraded link. So that would be minus one, it's seven. And then minus an additional one for every service station built along the route. That's none. So it's gonna be five or more. Marty would get 10 Deutschmarks. Now, if this had been upgraded a little bit further, if there were more upgraded links or there were some service stations along the way, so this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus one, two, three, four. because so we're talking about upgraded links, not just sections. So eight minus four, that would put him into the four bracket. He would get to do a promotion and get the 10. You get everything above it as well. So if you can get a perfect connection, you would get two promotions and 20 Deutschmarks for your root card in the administration phase. As for me, Nuremberg to Paris. I haven't really made much progress on that yet. I've had other matters on my mind. Then the administration phase is over. We carry on with the turn of the next player, the player after the person that triggered the administration phase. If we just had the second era's administration phase, we would now have reunification. We would remove the five roadblock tokens. Each player takes their yellow card that was set aside at the start of the game and adds it to their hand. The improved cards are gathered up and set aside and replaced with a new display of five advanced action cards instead. Now, anytime you replace or gain a card, you get an advanced one instead of an improved one. After we've had the final administration phase, players calculate their points. Your points all come from your employees. Every employee in the lobby is worth two points. In the network department, you get one, two, or three points, depending on which floor you're on for each of your employees still in construction offices. So Marty here's got one worker in this department and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six in construction offices, he gets six points. This is the trade department. They're worth one, two or three each for every different country to which you've delivered at least one good. And the service department is worth one, two or three points per employee for every service station you've built. The finance department, of course, cares about cold hard cash one, two, or three points per employee in that department for every 20 Deutschmarks rounded down you have remaining in your supply. And remember, we do end the game with an administration phase, so hopefully there is a chance for big, big funding. As more and more things get built, the city links get huge, and you fight over who gets to have the seats in the offices and rake in all of that money. The player with the most points at the end is the winner. If there is a tie, the tied player with the most employees in the administration area wins. If you're still tied, the player with the more employees on higher floors wins. If you're still tied, share the victory.
and marvel in all that's occurred. There is a player aid, a reminder of the phases of the game on the back of the rulebook, as well as a reference to the key pages that will tell you what your technology icons do. Right at the end of the rulebook, it reminds you what your bonus actions are if you need to look any of those up. There are extra modules to play with if you got the Kickstarter edition or bought the Kickstarter upgrade pack to add those on there, adding wine, traffic, and services modules to the game. And there are solo rules to play against who else an Autobot. I hope this video has been helpful in teaching you the rules to Autobahn. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will try and get them answered as best I can. If you'd like to see more from me, I have more rules videos. I have plenty of playthroughs, hundreds and hundreds of them at this point. You could have a look around. You could subscribe to the channel. You can support it in various ways that are in the description. Thank you very much for watching though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.